name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to discuss the project steering team, the owners of the projects of the PAC processes for training and development. PAC is an acronym. It stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. The project steering team is key to a successful project. They rationalize the need for the project, they approve the project plan and the schedule. They handpick all project participants, including everyone that's going to be on the analysis team, on the design team, the implementation planning team, the pilot, test team, etc. In one view of a training and development governance and advisory system, the project steering team sits in the green box area at the bottom of the chart. They are brought together to conduct a project and then they are disbanded. They're not part of a permanent governance and advisory structure and system to manage content. But if one does exist, if you had a corporate university and a governance board, and you had different councils, one for engineering and one for sales and one for finance, etc., or some other way to organize these efforts and give command and control capabilities to your clients, the project steering teams come and go. They control the project, they handpick the analysis team, the design team, etc., and they do all the reviews in all of the gate review meetings. The project steering team again owns the project, reviews all plan, and kills, modifies, or defers, or sanctions all efforts, and they handpick all project participants. Let's go back to that second bullet. One of the decisions that I tell every project steering team in every project steering team gate review meeting, that at the end of the meeting, they have one of four decisions to make. Kill the project because it no longer makes business sense. Perhaps it did earlier, but it no longer does. And they have the right to kill the entire effort. We are working for them. The second decision they could make is to modify the project, modify the approach or the schedule because it's necessary and they now see that. They can also defer a project, stop it, put it on hold, put it on the back burner and defer it until something else occurs. Maybe it's no longer timely and we need to wait on something else happening and completing or starting before we continue. That's their decision. Or they can sanction the project as planned and give us the go ahead they may give us some changes to the data that we reviewed in the gate review meeting, but they can sanction the project and tell us to keep on going. That is the purpose of a gate review meeting. It provides that gate. It provides that control. It's all part of command and control and collaboration that are key to the PAC processes. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.